Joining us now with more, Texas Congressman Troy Nels and Congressman Chip Roy. Uh, Congressman Nels, good to see you. Let's start with you. You know, look at what happened in Martha's Vineyard, and then look at what, on average, I think El Paso is taking in, what, 2,000 people on average a day right now? Uh, Sean, thanks for having me. Texas is inundated. We have estimates of 10,000 immigrants coming through our southern border each and every day, and they're going to complain up in Martha Vineyard and in New York City. But I tell you, as a former sheriff, I'm concerned about the number of people coming through. And that report on Venezuela, if you don't recall, June 16, 2015, when Donald Trump announced he walked down the escalator, he said he announced he was running for president, he told the American people the truth. He said that these individuals, these countries, aren't going to send their best. And what do we know? He was right. They're sending rapists. They're sending murderers. And the dishonest media called Donald Trump the racist. But Donald Trump was right all along. So I, I think it's a sad state of affairs what's happening in this country. And if we want to solve this unprecedented border crisis, we need Donald Trump in 2024. You know, Chip Roy, I'm looking at this. We now set a new record. You know as well as anybody, the state of Texas, more than any other state, maybe Arizona can compete with you, but two million people, a record, and it's only September. What does that make, three million by the end of the year? of illegal immigrants that we know cross the border, not the ones that we don't know about? Yeah, the known gotaways are the real problem. These are the bad actors coming in between ports of entry while Border Patrol is distracted. But look, you've got a bunch of rich people in Martha's Vineyard who, sorry to interrupt you between your sip of wine and that cheese plate sitting in your, your, in your lap, but uh, you got 53 people who come up there and you're like, oh, oh my gosh, we've got some migrants here. How about the 53 migrants that were found in a tractor trailer in San Antonio who are dead? How about the migrants you were just talking about who have these PVC plastic makeshift markers on graves? How about the little girls being sold in the sex trafficking trade? And how about the dead Americans, like the four students in Hayes County, where I live, who have been who have died from fentanyl poisonings? Or the 72,000 Americans who have died from fentanyl poisonings in the last year, which, Sean, by the way, is more than all of the American casualties in the Vietnam War. That's what's going on. There's a war against the American people being carried out by cartels, and this administration is facilitating it, and they need to be held accountable for it. We ought to impeach Mayorkas. And importantly, Republicans should not provide one more penny, not one more penny, to fund a DHS, the $60 billion being used to facilitate cartels to attack the American people. And by the way, my friend Troy there, my colleague, is a former sheriff. He ought to be the sheriff in Bear County. We need, we need a sheriff there who isn't going to go try to, uh, you know, investigate uh, Governor DeSantis for daring to highlight and spotlight this issue. Well, Congressman Roy, Chip Roy, let me go back to you for a second here. You want to blame Mayorkas, and I agree with you. He should be held accountable. What I see happening yeah. is we have laws in this country. Our laws are based on our Constitution. Uh, when you don't abide by the law, you get in trouble. But you got a case where a president is not enforcing the law. You have a case where a president yeah. is aiding and abetting law breaking. And if I went down to the border and I put people in the back of my car or I transported them to another state, wouldn't I get arrested for human trafficking? Isn't that against the law? And how is it the president gets to pick and choose what laws he's going to enforce and what laws he doesn't want to enforce? Yeah, that's a great question, Sean. He shouldn't be able to do that. Uh, the reason I'm focusing on Alejandro Mayorkas is he actually was brought before the House Judiciary Committee, where your friend and mine, Jim Jordan, is the ranking member. And Mayorkas lied to Congressman Jordan and to me. He lied and said they have operational control of the border. He smirked. He laughed at it. He laughed at what's happening to the American people. He laughed and disregarded what's happening to migrants. Yes, he's disregarding the laws purposely. He's doing it on behalf of the president of the United States, who should also be held accountable. Blood is on their hands. Dead Americans. I've met with those moms who have had to try to resuscitate their children in their own homes and then are carried out of their house in a body bag because they took a pill. And as the DEA says, one pill can kill. This administration knows what they're doing, and they're doing it on purpose. They blame, they want to blame DeSantis and Abbott, saying that they're using these people as pawns. No, it is Democrats who are using migrants as pawns to carry out their political endeavors, and they're endangering the American people and migrants in the process. You know, Troy Nels, I'll give you the last word on this, but it seems to me that when Joe Biden and Kamala Harris said the border is secure, and they say it repeatedly, and we don't have a crisis at the border, they're lying, and they're not being held accountable to the laws that they swore an oath to uphold. Didn't they swear upon the Constitution? They don't uphold the laws of the land? Well, I think the American people understand that uh, uh, 
she's 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 ridiculous everything she said you can't believe what she said she's embarrassing to our country and if she is the true borders are we'll get down there and solve the problem but she doesn't want to solve the problem this is by design they don't want to solve this crisis millions of people coming in here this administration puts the american people last they put the american people last they always have and now the american people are going to pay for it but i tell you what the american people are paying attention and it's going to be we're going to knock them right over the head in november about, 100, about $100 billion dollars this will all cost when all said and done, according to estimates. Congressman Nels, Congressman yeah, Chip Roy. Sean, Sean yeah. we, should, we shouldn't continue to fund this. We should stop funding it I as agree. Republicans. That's right. Uh, thank you both. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.